Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Claydesk. Did you hear the news that there is a first AI software developer out there called Devin? And that's really the AI software engineer, right? It can code the entire project and freelancing jobs on Upwork, fix GitHub issues, and even deploy code on its own. Crazy, right? So this news is all over the place and people are asking me, well, hey, Syed, I'm in the first year of computer science learning how to code. Did I waste my time? What is happening with the AI world, right? But let me tell you something. You're going to be just fine. So in this video, I'm going to give you a few important reasons not to panic about Devon AI, right? So let's dive into the details more. So let's be honest. Companies that build these AI tools, by the way, they aren't in the business of selling, right? Well, they want to sell their software. So they want to show you the coolest part of their software, right? Just like any product, they want to highlight their most important areas of their product so people can buy. Well, that's what they're doing essentially, right? Well, these demos are meant to grab their attention because they want to raise money, they want to, you know, attract investors. So keep that in mind. Now, let's be real. Even if Devon is a coding superstar, for example, do you think any serious company is actually going to allow AI to pick up their sensitive code base? and just automatically deploy? Well, no, nah, that's not gonna happen, right? Well, that's gonna be pretty difficult. The human software engineer will always be there just to review the code, even though AI writes it, right? So it's like self-driving cars. It's a great technology, but you still need a driver, right? Because that's really important. So AI is there to help, to assist, right? Just like we have GitHub, um, or Copilot or AWS has come up with a certain AI assistance, right? So that's helpful and that's that's important and that's very good and that works. But if you're talking about replacing, that's not going to happen, right? For example, ChatGPT is here, but how many stories have you read about software engineers actually losing their jobs to AI? None, right? So I haven't heard of a single story, by the way, myself, but if you have, let me know in comments down below, right? Because that's not really going to happen, even though the hype is being created just because they want to sell the product. And that's in my own humble opinion, right? Just like think about well, like filmmaking or making a movie, right? Well, there's so many things that, you know, are actually moving behind the scenes and the people are actually working behind the scenes on each different element. Even though AI is actually helping them or assisting them create the movie, right? Maybe doing some editing perhaps or lightning effects or whatever it is you want to call. But there's so many businesses that rely on complex systems and older systems. So understanding how that works and how to innovate them is really up to the software or engineers. So it is not going anywhere, even though it seems like the hype is being created, like the AI is going to replace coders. Well, it's not. It's not going to replace any software developers, nor it's going to replace software engineers. It is definitely going to help and assist, which is much needed. Why not? Because if it can help you code or find a bug within your code, that's great, right? So that's really important to understand that software engineers are here to stay, developers are here to stay, and of course, depending on the complexity of the organization, complexity of the application itself, right? So it's not gonna do, let me give an example. Remember the auto completion code that we use in VS Code and other uh, IDEs? It generates the entire line for you, right? Automatically. Well, that was great. And everyone thought, well, that's going to replace the code, but it didn't. It's just going to generate the code for you, just like GitHub Copilot, right? It creates the code for you, but it doesn't really replace the software engineers, right? So there's more time on the creative parts or of the software development. And that's where humans excel, right? So three years ago, for example, when GitHub Copilot first came out, there was a similar hype, just like I mentioned, right? It's going to replace developers, but the reality, it's being simply a productivity booster, right? So the real crux of the entire Devon AI is not to replace coders, right? It is definitely going to be a great tool, and I'm looking forward to it, by the way. It's not available yet, but it's available um, on request. You have to fill out a form, send it to them, and then they will allow access, okay? All right, so that's really what I wanted to talk about. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. 
comment down below. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.